Hi everybody, so today we're going to show you how to set up our three bucket Dutch bucket system. We did a video for the six bucket some time ago. We're doing this for the three bucket. Uh, I've taken a shortcut, I've already got everything opened up. But when you get a three bucket system, it will come in a box like this and you will get this along with it. This is a very, very, very important piece and you'll realize a little later why. First, let me just empty everything out and then we'll start setting it up. Okay? We are going to empty this out, right? So this is the first box that you get. I'll keep it on the backdrops here. One bucket with a lot of stuff inside it. We'll let that be for a second. Three buckets. We have these orange grommets in them. We we'll leave them here for a second. Packets. Two types of packets. One will have clay balls and the other one will have cocoa peat. So we we'll leave these out right now. And then lots and lots of small pieces of PVC, uh, which basically make the stand. Now these are all the small PVC pipes that basically make the stand. I am going to make the stand and show you how we do it. First thing you'll see this really odd shaped yantra. So this is the manifold. Uh, this fits in like this. So I'll, let, I'll put this in the end and show you. First we need to do is set up the stand. Now to set up the stand, you have these two pieces which are mirror images of each other. Keep one here and keep one in your hand. And I have a smaller piece in the center, right? So first I do is I join the one in the center to the one on the side using the smaller of the PVC pipes. Now there are two types of PVC pipes, there are these small ones here. And then oh, one second. There are these big ones. So the difference is dark. So just leave the big ones for now, the small ones. So in. And as you can see, just a simple, simple push fit. Don't do anything else with that right now. And here we go. That's it. That's all you need to do. No banging, nothing for now. Second piece here. The last of the small ones goes here. And that's it. Now, we get the bigger piece. So if you put four smaller ones right now, we have a bigger piece, right? Now I told you I don't want you banging those in, it's because the bigger one has to go in right now. So this guy goes in the center, here, and this is going to be a little bit of a right here. That's it. So, we haven't banged anything close yet, we haven't push anything, it's a very loose fit. We've got three other large pieces because there's one, two, three more. So we put the top one first. And we put the bottom. So the idea is that they should be able to go in freely. And if they're not, don't worry, just place them as loosely as you can. So we will find out in a bit. Thank you, Gurinder. Thank you, thank you. Now I pick up one of these guys, the important piece I told you earlier. Let's have some fun with this, right? So first thing we need to do is don't bang anything until the You can use, don't use a steel hammer, use a plastic hammer or just a simple piece of paper and this will work just fine. And yeah, done. So, now this, now see the number of ways you can do it, the way I like to do it is, I take the whole thing, I just push it down like this and now, Stand ready. Once you've done it one way, we can do it the other way. Voila. Stand. 
hand is done. Keep the special piece aside. Now get the buckets. The two types of buckets. One doesn't have any hole in it or any grommet, and one does. This uh, packet that we opened up initially, don't do anything with that right now. Let's bring that aside. One. Lego-ish as possible. We have a way of growing in these systems, but if you want to grow them in the typical Dutch bucket way, we also give you the the lids of the of the systems. So these lids go on top. Now in our system they don't go on top, but we're giving them to you in case you want to. Out of the four lids that we give you, uh, three are completely uh, unworked uh, on. One of them has two small holes on it. Two small holes on the side. Now here we are. So we've got our buckets up. This guy is a reservoir bucket. I'm going to put the reservoir bucket here for now. Now this kind of system is going to look at the end of the, of the setup. You now need, you can do a couple of things. I would recommend putting a manifold in first. But I want to show you. These clay balls. I'm not going to open these because these are clay balls. You need to put one clay ball, pack it per system. Just open this, don't put it in the plastic, okay? Open this, put the clay balls in the system. And I want you to take this manifold. And now here's the part which is slightly tricky. We need to Now, if you can see, these edges are chamfered, right? They are slightly chamfered, these edges. Chamfered as in, they are thoda sasko come here so they can easily fit into these things. So, aram se goes in, one, pyar se, two, pyar se, three. Full in, full in, full in, all right? Your manifold is set. Now comes the fun part. So we're not gonna do the fun part, right? Which is, sorry my pants are loose. Uh, we're gonna <clears throat> open this box of goodies. It has a lot of things in it. I think it has a lot of things in it. First thing I'm gonna do is find these elbows. There should be three of them. Yeah. There'll be three elbows. Get these three elbows. This is how the elbows go inside. So the edge that we took out from here, it's coming out from here. So you take one of these elbows and you're going to just Softly push it in. Like, koi zor ni lagana hai. This is not a contest, power contest. This has to be pointing downwards. Remember, this guy here, this guy here has to be pointing downwards. Put them in all. Don't worry about leaks right now because if it leaks, it leaks into the bucket, which is great. You put the things in, you put your clay balls in. I think we're giving two of these clay balls per bucket. I'm going to put only one as easy for me to do. Your clay balls are in your uh, inverted siphon. So in a, in a real Dutch bucket, this thing is called a siphon. So the siphons are there. The uh, clay balls are in. Now it comes to something very really cool, something which I like. I'm going to keep this in. These guys here. Now these guys we call halos, right? So, this is your round pipe ke bane hai, halos. What are you going to do to these halos? Shall we do something? Or shall we wait for a minute? This is a grow bag. Now, what are you going to do is these two have to go together. Uh, let me show you one by doing this first and then doing that and then do the inverse. Your clay balls are in. Your, your little grow bag goes on top of this. Okay? Now, iske andar, inside this, you're going to put a little bit of cocoa peat. Now, a cocoa peat box is right here. So, they look the same. You'll be able to figure out clay balls are make that noise. Cocoa peat is a little mushy. One bag of cocoa peat goes inside this. So, you have to open it and put the cocoa peat inside this. Now that the cocoa peat is inside this, we come to this part. 
I'm not going to show it to you here because it's difficult to see, so let me just show it to you on these ones which are not there. Your dash bucket has this black grommet at the back end. You're going to take this little halo, put this thing, just push fit it in. We've got all the halos in place. Now we take this other blue pipe that we have with these three connectors. I told you the bottom tank, there were going to be two holes. One was for the exit with the manifolds in. And the second one is for this pipe. And this pipe has a little purple connector and it has this long end. So first let's connect the dripper. So this guy, oh, oh. So this guy goes onto the dripper. It's a simple fit. The second one goes into the dripper. If you want, you can do most of the stuff on the ground and then put it up. I have to do it here because I have to show it to you. And here. Now these systems are set. Let this guy be open for now because I want you to first do the pump. I'll leave it, I'll leave it down there. Now I got a pump here. You can use any pump you want. If you don't have to replace it, you can call us up if it's a little more warranty period, which we will replace without a question. But if you're saying that I'm too far away, don't want to wait for the pump to come, it's cost about 200 rupees in the market, just go buy one. Don't try getting this repaired. Uh, we used to say, some, one second, just open this out. So the pump is opened up, it has two pieces, a piece like this. Um, and the second part, this gets screwed onto this guy here. Then we just come here. This is the tricky part. So what we need to do now is take this pipe and put it through this hole. Okay. Open this and get this guy out. Okay. Then we take this pump. Push this. So there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can either heat this a little bit with a lighter. So it becomes slightly more pliable. Yeah. It's done, right? Seal is made. Now open this out again and push this pump in. Set. Goes into the outlet. And you're set. The touch bucket is done. It's taken us for 10 minutes to do it. 10 minutes to do it. Um, now comes <coughs> the fun part. These are your nutrients. I'm not going to go through these nutrients as to why and how you want to use them because uh, we have a full instruction basic. So I want to keep talk to you about is seeds. So we've given these seeds to you. Coriander ki hain. Thoda thoda de mein apne aise se dalna hai. You want to take a little bit of seed and just sprinkle them around this. You don't have to do anything else. Then we give you this card. This card has a QR code. This QR code, if you scan, will give you the instruction of all the nutrients. Then we give you these stickers. These five stickers are the five nutrient bottles because what's going to happen is you're going to take this nutrient pack here and make a bottle out of it of nutrient. So this is very, very important. Now when you make the bottle of nutrient up, okay, but I was making some nutrient up. Just take this sticker and stick it onto that. And uh, we have given you after that. So I told you we gave you coriander, right? Along with the coriander, we've given you oh so we also give you this. <laughs> so I want you to see this. A little bit of oil. Okay? So we've given you this little bit of oil so that you can. Put the oil on this grommet before you put the pieces in. If it's tight, and you know this is silicon, so it does contract, expand slightly. So if it's tight, put a little bit of oil and push it in. I don't know why we continue doing this because we can tell the client to use it, but it's a, it was a good touch when we started. So we continue with giving you a little bit of oil. We have given you romaine lettuce, basil, parsley. 
and methi. Right? So we are giving you these seeds along with coriander. And the reason why we give you so many seeds is because you can just put as many as you want. This is the Dutch bucket system. This is one of the best no maintenance, low maintenance system you can get. If you don't want to go through the entire uh, setup of a full scale hydroponic uh, plant, this is a great way to start. You know, do really well. Thank you so much.